In this question 2 of the review set of 16a, we are finding the locus of points p, x, y for a um, complex number. Now the locus of points just means there's a collection of points p, and a collection of points uh, generally is a line or a curve. So we're after the equation of a line or a curve. Now for part a, uh, we just basically do as it says. So z take i, the modulus of that one is the modulus of z plus 1 plus i. And z is x plus i y. So we have x plus i y take i is the modulus of x plus i y plus 1 plus i. If we collate the real parts here, and the imaginary parts, we have this. On the right hand side we get x plus 1 as the real part, and then we have i and y plus 1 as an imaginary part. Now the modulus of the left hand side is, of course, x squared plus y take 1 squared, oops, and then the root of all that. Like so. The right hand side we have the real part, so that's x plus 1 squared, and the imaginary part, y plus 1 squared, the root of all that. So we're finding the modulus. Now if these needs to be equal, they need to be equal, then uh, under the root it needs to be equal. And I'm also going to work this out. So expand it. x squared plus y squared take 2y plus 1 equals x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. And now we see that you know these ones they cancel out, the x squareds cancel out, the y squareds cancel out, and the rest does not, which says negative 2y is equal to 2x plus 2y plus 1. Rewrite this, bring everything to one side. It says 2x plus 4y plus 1 equals 0, or if you want, 2x plus 4y equals negative 1, which is the equation of a straight line. So the locus is a straight line. For part b, we need the conjugate of set take i z equals 0. Now the conjugate of z is x take i y. take i times z, so i times x plus i y equals 0. So x take i y take i x. Negative i times i is negative i squared, which makes positive 1 times y z. If I collate the real and imaginary parts, the real part is x plus y, and then I have a negative i times x plus y equals 0. Now, um, if all of this needs to be 0, that just means that x plus y needs to be 0. So the real part needs to be 0. The imaginary part also needs to be 0, but the imaginary part is also x plus y. So x plus y equals 0. If we rewrite that, you get y equals negative x, which again is a straight line, and that straight line is the locus of points.